This video recording is to show how to have a single pass with the Forever Laser Dark paper uh, using the uh, HP Laser Color Printer 452DW and uh, the Ghost White Toner in it. And with this method, uh, we're going to keep the white toner uh, in the printer itself and we're not going to swap it with the black toner. So that way you do not have to deal with the downtime that the printer takes to clean in between the swaps and you do not have to have two passes. Um, I did before recording of uh, this method and I removed the videos because I had a flaw in the method itself and the flaw was stemming from the fact that I was laying the uh, white underbase on the top of the color image not on the bottom of it. I'm going to try to correct that and I'll see how that goes. Um, now we're going to go through the same steps that we did in the previous video of the two passes and we'll use the same image. So I'm right now in the RGB. I'm going to go ahead and switch it back to, uh, or I'll make it uh, CYMK first. All right, here we go. And then we're going to go ahead and duplicate the image. And we're going to work on the duplicate and we're going to try to rasterize it. So we go to mode, grayscale, discard colors. So mode, grayscale, and discard colors. And we're going to go ahead and increase the contrast. So I'm going to do the filter and sharp mask twice. Uh, you can uh, avoid this step if you want. It just depends on your image. You don't have to do this step. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and bring the image to bitmap. And we're going to keep the output same as input, halftone screen. And using the same criteria that we used in the previous video. And the image is rasterized. Now we're going to go ahead and bring it back to grayscale. And we'll bring it back to uh, CY, CMYK. And I'm going to go ahead now and try to bring the color back to it. Uh, let me make it first a layer. So I'm going to go ahead to the color image here, make it as a layer. And I will uh, select all, edit copy. And I will lay it on the top of the rasterized image to bring the colors back to it. So edit paste. Here we go. Now we're going to work on the underneath layer and turn off the top layer. And I'm going to choose color, select color range. I'm going to choose the black color here. Hit OK. Inverse the selection. And keep that selection active. Go to the color layer and mask it with the selection so here we have our image rasterized with the colors back to it and this is what the uh gonna print um rasterized color image okay i don't need the underneath layer here so i'm gonna remove it delete it all right and i want to deal with uh the image as a layer without the mask so simple uh, solution for that I would go ahead with a layer put it underneath go ahead to the top layer and I'm gonna go ahead and merge down so here we are dealing with one single layer rasterized color image all right now we'll go to the channels and I'm gonna choose the black channel here to create the white background and in this black channel, I would choose the white color here. So I'm going to go ahead to select color range. Okay. And I will choose the white. And I'm going to increase the fuzziness. Oh, we can keep it down. You can keep it at 100, but I want to minimize the use of the white toner, which is expensive as much as I can and I don't want to dilute my colors. So let's decrease the fuzziness here to 22. I should be good with that. So let's hit OK. 
so the selection is active I will choke my selection by 4% not because the paper is gonna shrink just because first I want to save on my toner second I want to uh, avoid washing out colors so we'll go ahead to the select modify contract by four pixels that's fine and I'm gonna go ahead and fill that selection edit fill I will fill it to black hit OK so this is my white under base I will go ahead and select that I will select color range Alright, let's select that and I'm going to hit OK, edit, copy, alright, and I'm going to go ahead and lay it on a new document, new, create, edit, paste. Alright, so this is now, it's going to be my white underbase. I will go back here and I will step this back to bring it where it was so I'm gonna do uh, edit step backward or option control Z all right edit step backward so I'm reversing those to bring it back where it was step backward okay here we go edit step backward so we we brought it back where it was so here we have the image the rasterized color image and here I have here the white underbase. All right, now what we need to do here in order to print properly uh, the white underbase underneath the colors is to channel my colors cyan, magenta, yellow, black to three channels cyan, magenta, yellow. That will leave me with an empty black that I'm going to put on it the white underbase. So let's proceed. So we are now in four channels. Let's go to edit, color settings, and I'm at the CMYK tab. We'll go to custom CMYK, and here I'm going to go to the black in ink limit and make it zero. All right, so by doing this, I'm telling the printer that any black color in the image, you're going to make it by mixing cyan, magenta, yellow. Do not touch the black toner because uh, I'm going to put the ghost white toner instead. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And we'll hit OK. And now I'm still having those four channels, but I'm going to go to image and RGB so I changed it to a different mode now I'm gonna bring it back to CMYK and this is where the magic happens all right now we have uh, the color information all uh, all of it is squeezed in three channels cyan magenta yellow and I have an empty black channel that I can use right now for my white underbase. So let me turn this off and on. If you notice the image, nothing is changing. Nothing actually is changing simply because it is an empty channel. All right, let's work on this. I'm gonna choose this empty channel to lay on it the white underbase. So I'm gonna go ahead and put edit. So, I'm sorry, select all first, edit copy. And I'm going to go to my black channel, which is going to be now white, actually, because I have the ghost white toner in. And I'm going to say edit, paste. And here's my white underbase. Okay, so let me summarize this again. So I have now my image in uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, having all the four color channel information squeezed in those three and I have the 
white underbase on the black channel so anything black here you see is going to print white and will print it underneath the image and the color image not on the top of the image All right if I turn it off I mean this is the uh, rasterized color image and this is the white underbase so anything black is going to print white uh, I'm concluding this video right now and I will uh, take you with the next video to printing those uh, pressing A to B and uh, weeding uh, the uh, A sheet off and then pressing it on a black t-shirt and here I'm using the color of the black t-shirt as my black color so it will fill in any kind of uh, transparent area here I'm concluding this video I'm out I will give a credit to David Lewis who was kind enough to point to me that the method I used before was not accurate and I'm thankful to him uh, I'm out guys see you later bye bye